let me introduce a low cost ZNSS receiver. This is a type of receiver or the system that we have. Uh, we actually assemble this in a board. Here is our ZNSS receiver. This is a U-Blox M80. And this is our Wi-Fi Bluetooth module to send the data in real time via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to remote device. And this is SD card to log all the data coming to the receiver, the output of the receiver to the SD card as a backup as well. So we can log locally here or we can transmit uh, by Wi-Fi or Bluetooth all, all we can do at the same time. And this is a very easy to operate. We just need to connect the antenna and the power. Then it will start logging the data automatically. We have already preset the receiver to log necessary signals. So what we do is connect the antenna here. This is the receiver. So we connect antenna. And then we need to connect the power supply. So this is my battery battery pack and we connect uh, power to the receiver this board so I connect uh, this one and connect give a power supply here okay Okay, I connect the cable. I connect the cable. Now I'll put the power on. Okay. Now Now this is logging the data. Okay? So GPS is on. Bluetooth module is on. and it's automatically logging data to our SD card and now we can connect this device to our Android using our app so I will show you uh, uh, to get the data so this is one of the app to get data so we connect by Bluetooth so Bluetooth GPS and here you see U blocks, U blocks, or this is U blocks, and uh, here is a device CS IS GNSS2. This is our device name, and we connect. Okay, so instrument connected, and we are getting the coordinates here. So you can see the position data here. Also, we can see this in the map. Okay. So, okay, now you can see where am I. So this red dot is the current position from my external GPS. Okay. And we can see the status of the GPS using Skyplot. Okay. Now here you see all the GPS status. satellite visible satellites and all and the coordinate data all the other GNSS status speed up or s up because I put the antenna in the, on the veranda so it's not good visibility here we can see only the satellites along this side so it's not so good but if we go out so it's much much better and also we can do RTK for high accuracy positioning output so this is a standard positioning now and uh, you see in the board now uh, I, I just put the device here you see this blue LED means we have a Bluetooth connection and this blip this is a this means that the, the receiver is able to output the position data and also the one PPS signal the clock sync signal okay so wi-fi bluetooth is working power is okay data communication is okay and this is uh, uh we're logging the data in the sd card so this one is power 
data log is okay and this is the bluetooth connection and if i remove the bluetooth disconnect the bluetooth this will go off for example so i just show you so okay bluetooth gps now i say disconnect okay so it's disconnected from my device so bluetooth is off so this is very simple for data logging in the field so we put this in a box and you just need to connect the antenna and the power from your either from your android device or from your battery pack like this and that's all it's very simple and if you want to do high accuracy processing later so you just remove this card and connect to your computer and do the post processing okay